get your halter. You ready to go in? Oh my. You're kind of fierce, aren't you? I'm going to have to turn off my camera to catch you and bring you out. Back up here. Back. Hoop. Hoop. Quit. Stop it. What's the matter with you? Come up here. Who? I make him stop. Yeah, I'll lock it for it and I can show him. Well, for 20, we have plenty of energy. We turn 20, all horses turn a year older, January 1st, but he turns 20 actually on May 4th, but we have plenty of energy. Oh, now we're CP. We just want to go and walk. Here we go. In the barn. I wish I'd had him trained to drive too, like his mother. Oh, he's going to wait for me to take off his halter. Let's see if I can do that. There he goes. And then the head for the bucket. You guys can't see it's too dark. There's no carrot yet. Well, I could brush you, but I'm going to go back to bed. Good morning again. It's turban time. I'm with a half Arabian. Okay. Really what I'm going to talk about today is my empties. I haven't done that in a while, and I mostly have samples, but I got a pretty big bag of stuff. But before I knock you over, we are brought to you by JBS Farm Soaps. And now, adding to my repertoire, well, let me show you my repertoire in a minute. Um, Mother's Day's coming, little black dress. Oh, it's just a very nice, light, Floral. <sighs> Any age would love this. Even, even little girls would love this. Up to grandmas. It's oh, there goes George. He's distracting to my ad. Um, but anyway, a little black dress. It smells divine. And this one's like a five-ounce bar. All right, now I have to show you the latest thing that I've been doing. Well, I just brought it in bags. Cause that's easy. So I can show you the flavors. I'll take one out and show you. But this one is coconut cream and they are lip balms. I have a little sample so that when I do my booth they can smell them. I'm not going to put them out because they're going to walk away. But uh, that was coconut cream. This one is cucumber melon. And none of them are overpowering scented. Um, just a nice, you know, little scent when you put it on. This one is rose. Smells really good. It's a good rose. This one is passion fruit rose, so this is a little fruity rose. And this one, oh, this one is Dulce Delicia. Jessica said I should have named it Sweet Kisses. So maybe this will be the only Dulce Delicia edition because, oh my gosh. Um, I made little labels because I, I had to use a template because I don't know how to do it yet. I wanted to do like a Estee Lauder blue around here. I kept dreaming about it last night, but, um, uh-oh. Hi. He says, oh, do you have treats? He hears these noises, and sometimes I have treats in those noises. Hi. He's having his snack. Now, today my fragrance is Jiki, which is a Guerlain. It's an old Guerlain, and I always wondered what it smelled like. And so I got the dupe uh, fragrance oil, and oh, so yes, I made it. I can make soap. I can make whatever you want. <laughs> Room tarts. Anyway, Jiki. Um, a lot of the Guerlain ones, the old ones, they were like made in the 20s and 30s, uh, are too old for me. Like, I call it Mosquito, Mitsuko. Um, but we all love Shalimar, and it took me now to grow into Shalimar. But Jiki is a really nice one. I like it. I, I wear this. I've worn this a lot. I mean, I just made rollerball. It kind of separates because it's so thick, but um, I've already used that much. And you know me, I don't use that much stuff. All right, let's, let's get started. I finally finished. Two of these have been sitting under my sink for a long time, and I thought, I gotta use 
sub step. So I finished my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanse. I bet you folks with dry skin would just love this. It isn't stripping at all. Um, formulated as a gentle, non-irritating cleanser uh, by a dermatologist. Unlike soap, it's completely non-alkaline, non-comogenic, and fragrance-free. It smooths and, smooths and softens as it cleanses, helping the skin retain needed moisture. Uh, you can even use it without water. Um, anyway, but you still have to rinse it, I think, with water, without water. Remove excess with soft cloth, leaving a thin film of Cetaphil on the skin. The emollient quality will leave the skin soft and moist. And probably on the box it tells you what's in it, because I think you have to do that. But that's a really nice one. Um, anybody can use it. I've got oily skin. I finally finished, because I use it about three or four times, the Green Tea Mask by Sephora. And it's still probably got stuff in it, but I just got, you know, I put it back in its little envelope and fold the top down. And, and if you tuck it in upside down, it lasts for a long time. And since I, I never take the time to mask, if I sit in the tub and put it on with one of my bath bombs, and then I put this on, oh, it is very soothing. Because I want to say something about all you caregivers, all you folks with aging parents, the sandwich generation, the ones that have kids living back at home, uh, you all have my respect. <laughs> my my 94-year-old mom's um, home right now, and her short-term memory is just, she can remember everything from back when or, or, or whatever, but what she had for lunch 10 minutes ago, that's gone. So, um, you guys all have my respect, caregivers, um, family members. It's it's a tough one, but it's it's really it's important. Rather. Oh, let's get let's get on to more fun things. Um, I finished my Clinique dra dramatically different moisture. Look, this was in my travel bag forever, so I finally just used it up. Uh, same thing for the toner. Used it up, and there was one other part to that. Oh yes, the liquid. Facial Soap Mild. The only thing I didn't like about the moisturizer, it's a perfect consistency and everything, and that yellow color makes you feel like you're putting on butter, um, is there's no SPF in it. And SPF doesn't bother me, so I really like it when it's in it because I don't always put on suntan lotion. And George Cat is going to join us, although you won't see him. He's been hunting. He caught two mice today. Um, I finished, and I loved it, the Micro Delivery Peel, and there's another part to it here. There. Um, it was really hard to judge. I love this stuff, but it was really hard to judge. This was a yellow, gritty, oh, it smells kind of lemony, and you put that on and, and you gently buff that in, and then you'd put in this gel, and I don't know if it smells, uh, no, <laughs> and, and then it would foam up, and then you'd leave it on for a minute, and then you'd, I'd shower it off. Uh, I loved it, but I ended up with more of the gel because I kept being kind of stingy with it because I didn't know to, how to make them come out even. Uh, well, I haven't finished it. I'm using, <laughs> but here's the box. Better Than Sex um, Mascara. I love it. I've been using the Chanel, I want to say La Volume. Uh, really liked it, but uh, once this dried up a little bit because it was real gooky to begin with, oh, I like it. I have it on now. No false lashes. I finally finished the Super Plump Volumizing Condition, and I had the shampoo too. I really like them. I got Chris gave them to me. It doesn't have any smell, but um, I remember it did in the shower. Uh, what I like is she took some fingernail polish or something and put it on the conditioner bottle only. I need to do this because every time I'm in the shower now, I have, um, it's K-Pak, who is that, Joyco. And I have to look at it and I go, okay, yeah, oh, this one's the shampoo because how many times have I pumped it in? I have the big one. How many times on the floor have I pumped into my hand? Ah, oh, shoot, that's conditioner. I finished up the Armani even had a little brush. They were uh, concealer samples. Don't even have it written on here. But you'd open up each one and then a little brush. Oh god, it was so cute. A little brush came with it and you'd brush that on. So that's cute, but it's a mess now, so finish that. I finished my NARS primer base. Um, somebody told me, and I probably should do that, to pull out this little stopper thing and maybe I could get more out. So I'm going to I'm going to put that back in there and um, try that. I finished the Caudalie Divine Oil. Oh my gosh, it smelled it's so a little expensive, but um, you feel really good using it. And I would hold it back and go, 
Well, there's a tiny bit. And then I would just pat it in. And you could use it in your hair, but kind of expensive. I finished, oh, back when I belonged to something, um, I got a bunch of Wen things. And so I finally finished the Sweet Almond Mint. I don't really, I got oily hair. It doesn't really work that great for me. I had a sample of the Agadir Hair Shield Heat Protection Cream Treatment. And I used like half the tube and put it on and then another half. And it works fine and it smelled good. And, yeah. Hi, George. I finally finished, remember these old ones with the sword on the back? Anyway, I finished uh, Urban Decay's brush. No, I'm not going to dig it out. I got too many I got to use up. But I was really glad to get that A out of, it never went in a purse. And I was glad to get it out of my makeup drawer. Oops, I just scared George. I finished the Peter Thomas Roth Laser Free Resurfacer Face Serum. Help undo the damage with 33.5% Dragon's Blood Complex. Helping repair, resurface, regenerate, and renew the appearance of dull aging overexposed skin. So this is supposed to help ugly skin get beautiful. And I couldn't tell the difference. I used it as like a moisturizer um, at night. Oh, I like this. The lip balm from Jack Black. This one was black tea and blackberry. Really liked it. If I could figure out how to refill these little tubes, I'd put my stuff in it. Because it has a nice little uh, slant to it. You just squeeze a little bit and rub. I'm using my bite. I have probably about half of a tube left for the winter and it's really thick so I put a little I squeeze from the bottom put a little bit on my lip warm it up and then rub it around I finished the BB straight blow dry I wonder if he'd come back come on come on um, it was nice uh, my hair still is frizzy but I liked it I finished the baby lotion la vanilla and it smelled like baby lotion oh what a good boy look at it come on over here over here. Oh my. Now we're chewing grass. And then I have NARS BB cream. No. Tinted moisture. <gasps> ah! God, we had a dog. Wait till a company comes. Stand underneath you like that and then go. <coughs> Don't do that, mister. Anyway, really like the tinted moisturizer. When I would make up other people, I would use it. You're kind of not very polite. Well, he's going to munch here. Anyway, I would use it on other people, and then they'd go out and buy it because they liked it so much. I, yeah, I saw that. Oh, here's the bite box for the Bite uh, Beauty Natural Food Grade Agave Lip Mask. Um, I'm still using half of it there. And it is a uh, metal tube, so be sure you squeeze from the bottom and just keep working it up because if you squeeze from the middle, it's going to be a mess later. I finished the uh, Nymphette, finally. So this will go in the back to Mac. I'm trying to use up all my Mac stuff so that I can do the back to Mac. I finished, yes, the Hourglass Immaculate Golden. Probably going to bail on the NARS, but anyway. Um, a little sample, and I like, oh, I bailed on it. It was thick. I think because it was the wrong color, and it was, eh, I want to get the Guerlain po, lingerie de po. I like that. Um, we're down to it. I got three things left. I finished, whoops. Oh, I like this because it was Chanel. Uh, Mousse Comfort Creme Riche something. Anyway, uh, anti-pollution rinse off rich foaming cream cleanser. Comfort air pollution. It just smells good and it feels good. It's not super perfumey, but if you're allergic to perfume, yeah. Um, but I like it. No, can you not? We have to eat at the bottom of the tripod. How about we don't do that? I'm bailing on the, oh, maybe I should give this to Jessica. The um, uh, L'Oreal, it's brown, um, <clears throat> extra intense liner. Um, I could go like that. Oh, because I think it's, yeah. It's probably old, so maybe Jessica doesn't want it, but it got splotchy when I ran it. You know, it gets dark and light and lumpy. And this was the Chanel Le Volume that I finished. See, I actually finished it. Um, I mean, there's always still some more on it, but oh, it doesn't even smell bad. But I figured, well, it's not that bad, so it's time to don't step on the... There, back up. Come on, back. Who's going to step on the tripod? There we go. So, those are my empties, and thank you for joining me in copyright. He shed out quite a bit, but we're still shedding, and he'll lose all this fur right here and have beautiful black skin on his nose. 
show them your nose. So all this will shed out right here. And then you go, I blow him up. And he can whistle too. No, oh gosh. He can whistle too. <laughs> yes, you're a good boy. And you get to keep out here and eat for a little while. He gets to eat out here for a couple hours and then he goes into his diet pen, which isn't a small pen. He's got a big, he's got a barnyard. So until next time, thank you for joining me and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.